with the Houthis in the in the Red Sea, um, are, are you guys noticing in any kind of uptick? It seemed like they were quiet for a little bit and then now they're attacking um, multiple tankers. Is there any um, intel, anything that you can say about what might have been causing this most recent uptick? Thanks, Heather. So we've seen this pattern sort of happen over the last few months or, or since the attack started. Uh, there is a series of waves, then they then, then there's a pause, then there are waves again. I can't speak to the strategy behind that. I can only speak to what we as the United States military are doing with our partners and allies. Um, and, and of course, you're very familiar with Operation Prosperity Guardian and the fact that we continue to ensure um, that those shipping lanes remain open to ensure that um, freedom of navigation can occur in the Red Sea. Um, but you're seeing what the Houthis are doing on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, they've set on fire a, a oil tanker carrying 1 million barrels of crude oil. Um, I don't need to explain to you what type of damage that could cause um, to an environment like the Red Sea. Um, you know, you're talking major ecological systems that could be destroyed. Um, so while I can't speak to their tactics, I can speak to the fact that they're causing um, environmental and economical disasters right right in their backyard. Leave it at that. Yeah.